Some people who live in Hardin County are fed up with what they're calling a series of burglaries in the area. KFDM reporter Megan Dillard spoke with a new mother who says more than valuable items, the burglar stole her sense of security. Uh oh. Cody Burgess is a new mother and she has her hands full. Fingerprint dust does not come off. With her baby and a recent break in. I just kept staring at the door and I thought, no, something's not right here. Last month, Burgess was coming up her driveway one Friday afternoon just off Cooks Lake Road in Lumberton. The side door to her home was open. Burgess says she's not sure how they got in through this door, but this is the door that they broke into. You can still see some of the fingerprint dust here. It's just feet away from where the family sleeps here in this bedroom. They did do some damage to the safe. They were able to do some damage to the TV using a screwdriver to bash the screen in, but they didn't stop there. They then made their way through the rest of the Burgess home here, making a stop at this side bedroom. All this is just thrown around. All of this was in the closet. Ransacked bedrooms, oh, precious belongings thrown mine. on the floor, electronics ruined. They don't have anything. They're mad because People have what they have, you know, I mean, uh, we work hard for everything that we have. We have a lot for as young as we are, and I think it ticks them off. Burgess says some stolen items are irreplaceable, including Tracker, who was wearing a GPS collar that morning. He went from 120 yards to 342 yards in a flash. So we know that somebody took him. A family shaken by the burglary, but willing to spread the word to put those responsible behind bars. Just knowing that they came in through my bedroom door where we spend a majority of our time, it just, you don't feel safe. Your sense of security is completely gone. In Hardin County, it makes you sick to your stomach. Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News. Neighbors tell KFDM someone has broken into nearly half a dozen homes in the area in the last month. The Hardin County Sheriff's Office says it has several strong leads in several cases. Deputies urge anyone with information to call 246-5100.